Alrighty, all better now. And let's see. We got the thing, and we got the thing, and we got the thung. What else do we need? I need to not be at this part of town. Oh well. I'll just go where I need to go because it's faster than trying to go seeing if I can go the other way and not being able to. Stand my man! Maybe Stan would like a tacky lamp. Alright little fellas, check out these high def duds. Well, that's just great. The lamp's dead. No! My leg lamp! And then you'd rather go to the well, light. Stan's sign is keeping the moths from returning to the jungle. Stan! Three wood! No hard feelings over all those various civil and criminal charges? Water under the bridge. Great. A bridge with a fast-talking shyster slash salesman dangling from it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Still trying to make a buck on my recently cleared name? Nah, I sold all that junk to that Dooro sap. I've moved on to the next trial of the century. Flotsam Island versus LeChuck and the Voodoo Lady. Now this one might actually be the Chuck, the one of the century. What could you possibly be making out of the Voodoo Lady and LeChuck? Oh, ye of little faith. Feast your eyes on the all-new People vs. LeChuck and the Voodoo Lady collection. What's that? It's my entrancing Voodoo Lady dashboard good luck charm. They had dashboards? Oh, ah! What's this? It's a little decorative pin I've whipped up. Trial of the Century 2. Electric Voodoo Loop. We're still working on a type. Electric Voodoo Loop? What's that one? That's our cursed cutlass of Kaflu LeChuck doll. Press the button for its special transforming glow. It glows? Interesting. What's happening? Uh, it's a little bright. Yeah, we're still working out a few kinks. Man, that's a brightly glowing LeChuck hey, now, toy. What's this? <laughs> Fuzzy flying fan club? Ah! Hey, knock it off, you nutty nibblers! Moses! Sweet ah, fancy no. Moses! Run! Run! Stand! <laughs> well, that was one heck of an experience, eh, Threepwood? It's a good thing old Stan always keeps a few spare jackets in the back office, or I'd be defending my clients in the all together. Uh. Say, that's not a bad idea. Yes, it is. Stan S. Stan Man. Naked attorney at law. Bad idea. You've got nothing to hide, and neither does he. Um... No time to chat, Threepwood. I've got business cards to print. Stan scares me! Yeah. Ooh, remains of Stan's jacket. Sweet. That is just the most awesome fabric on the face of the earth, isn't it? Oh, it's kind of dead now, or... Even though it's been reduced to rags, Stan's jacket is still a sight to make eyes sore. Interesting. All right, well, you know what? I've given up on rejecting the Super Mario Brothers theme from my mind. If it wants to live there, then that's where it's going to live, and there's not really a whole lot I can do about it. I went the wrong way. Dun 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 dun. Okay, now I'm doing it on purpose. Alright. Let's go into Club 31. Hmm. Club 41, 41, 41. Let's talk to the bartender. Hey, WP. I told you I was innocent. Well, bully for you! Uh, meanwhile, we're still all poxed, there's a creepy voodoo priestess in my jail, and your wife's still threatening to sack our town. Truly, these are the best of times. <laughs> Morgan lefley has been murdered by the Marquis de Singe! Oh my, that is troubling. She was well on her way to becoming one of me best customers. Why'd you gonna do something? 
Oh, I'm sorry, lad, but I preside over a pirate court, meeting out justice exclusively for pirate on pirate crimes. <laughs> this sounds like a doctor this on pirate. Sounds like a case of mad scientist on privateer violence. Uh, totally out of my jurisdiction, yes. And also, he's a judge. I Can't... think there may be a court in the lower mandibles that handles such affairs. Ninja, ninja and, and clown crimes. Uh, but they only convene every second Thursday. Hmm. I've been wondering, why is this place called Club 41 anyway? You know, I don't rightly know. <coughs> the last owner never got a chance to tell me before he succumbed to his dart-related injuries. <laughs> Yikes. Looks like ladies' night has finally come to an end. I, I'm thinking about canceling it in favor of something a wee bit safer. Like ultimate mumbly pig night or amateur tattoo night. <laughs> <laughs> well. Hmm. Ooh, the coming soon sign is off of the sign. Are you pirate enough to take the Fugu Jalokia challenge? I think I am. Fugu Jalugu. Fugu Jalokia. Seems pretty harmless. Yeah. Well then. Fugu Shugu. Fugu Gugu Mugu Pugu. Hey, WP. Tell me. Tell me about this Fugu Jalokia. Tell me now! Ah, a connoisseur of peculiar culinary delights, are we? Um, yes? Then you surely have heard of the Fugu Jalokia, the hottest pepper in this world or the next. Oh, that Fugu Jalokia. I acquired that specimen of the Fugu pepper many years ago from a three-legged bandit named Ort. Winning it from him when I was able to place me tongue on the pepper for ten entire seconds. How eccentric. Since that tongue-destroying day, I vowed to pass on the pepper to the first pirate who can successfully put his tongue on the Fugu Jalokia for eleven seconds. I'm reminded of an old episode of Simpsons for some reason. Uh-oh. Oh dear. Let's run away! That pepper is dangerous scary. And I'm sorry, I usually try to... Ow. Ow. I usually try to foreshadow things we'll need before we do it, i.e. show them off, so you know they're there, rather than I just run to them in my time of need, like right now. But, it escaped my mind. Like I said before, this game is nowhere near as grained into my psyche as any of the others. Although, for that matter, neither is the last one, but the first three are a definite part of my childhood, even if my memories were kind of shaky. But it's something that was in here that I didn't use. And that I didn't look at. And I should have looked at it when I was in here before. What the... What happened to Morgan's... Dun dun dun! It's this thing. Auto trepanation helmet. Hmm. Trepanation is not something to try at home. It's <coughs> drilling into the head. What is it? My thumb. Yeah, every one of those buttons will take away a different sense temporarily. Trepanation is a frightening, barbaric, and no longer used medical practice. Where they drilled holes in the head, and I guess the only thing it could possibly do is Excuse me, hiccup. Stab a tumor. No, I, I do not know what trepanation could have possibly done. Uh, if they drilled into your sinuses, I guess they could relieve sinus pressure, but that's frightening to think about. Alright, well, you've got a numb tongue. you got to run back to the club. and get to the pepper as fast as possible because you gotta put your tongue on it God, did, did, blah. are you... Oh, oh I got my tongue back okay pepper prepare to meet your master
Okay, mental note. The Fugu Jolokia is hot to the touch, too. Well done, Captain Threepwood! You've conquered the Fugu Jolokia and have won the right to keep it as your own. I like a clean living and a healthy co- oh! I probably got permanent glossal damage, but it was totally worth it to get my hook on that pepper. I put it in my pocket. You know, when I dreamed of becoming a mighty pirate, I never imagined that one day I'd be tying eye-popping napkins around the non-existent necks of mystical sponges. Come on, little sponge. Eat the nice, smelly, anti-pasta. That's a good sponge. Good thing the sponge doesn't have a tongue, or I'd be dunking it in the ocean right about now. I'd better fold this up before I put... Hopefully these flakes of the future will give Lia Sponja a sixth sense that'll help keep me from getting into situations like this. was the shocking dessert. Ouch! All right, Senor Esponja Not So Grande, that's five senses down and one to go. Now, where can I find a really big sound for an after-dinner belch? Well, there's only one thing on Flotsam Island that can make a noise like that. <laughs> 